Hello everyone, it's Jigsaw again. Welcome back to my annual Halloween event. For this year, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of playing a game, let us review a game that recently came out earlier this year. It's called Back for Blood, with the four spelt with the letter four, because it's four survivors. You could probably guess who made it then. The same people who made the Left 4 Dead games a long time ago on the Xbox 360. This is a spiritual successor. The question is, does it live up to expectation? Unfortunately to me, they do not. But let us save that for the review itself and why I think that. Here you go. Like its predecessors that came before it, Back for Blood shares the same similarities as Left for Dead. You play in a team as one of four survivors called Cleaners, who go through various activities in order to find safe houses and rest up and do all sorts of crazy shit together. Unfortunately for Back for Blood, the characters in story are very flat and forgettable and none of them really particularly stand out. It's just not as good as Left for Dead. And not just in that regard, either. Even though the general gameplay remains the same, scavenging for ammo and supplies, sharing certain things like healing items, ammo again, and being able to upgrade things and buy them through safe houses, there are a few new changes to the formula. Completing missions awards you with supply points. Every time you go back to camp, you can use these supply points to unlock perk cards and add them to your deck. These can enhance certain stats like health, stamina recovery, or reload speed, and all that good stuff. You are also awarded extra perk cards every time you continue on in your missions. These stats can often create imbalances with the gameplay difficulty. Sometimes it'll be easier for you than it is for someone else, making teamwork feel uneven. Overall though, I feel like the perk cards make this game too convoluted and confusing and cumbersome, I think would be the right word for it. Speaking of difficulty, what? the absolute fuck is wrong with this game. There are difficulty spikes up the ass. Within the first chapter, it goes from being very fun and manageable to downright endless waves of hordes of zombies humping your downed body. It's very discouraging. When you play single player or play multiplayer with people who quit, due to some insecure rage. You'll find yourself playing with bots, AI bots. Now, these AI aren't nearly as bad as they were in the beta where they just stood there, do nothing. But it seems like they replaced one big problem with another. Now, instead of doing nothing, they get stuck on everything and fidget around all over the place. Basically, that means that they now do nothing again, but just in a different way. Either way, the AI absolutely sucks, and has always sucked. It's actually one of the many reasons why you shouldn't play single player. The other reasons, for some stupid fucking reason, is apparently... Single player no longer saves progression or gives you achievements for your hard work. 
This puts solo players at a great disadvantage. For someone who doesn't always like to play with others, Jigsaw sometimes likes to play by himself, believe it or not. And that's something that I could do easily with Left for Dead. I cannot do it with Back for Blood. There's no reason why it should be this way. This benefits nobody, not even the people who only want to play online. And even though it's always been the best way to play these kind of games, they're designed to be cooperative. It was always good to be able to play Left for Dead alone or locally with another player. There is no such option in Back for Blood. This puts the game on the shit list for single player goers. Because of the sheer number of enemies that you face, the only viable weapon option that I like are LMGs. Without these, you are fucked. Fucked is an actual gamer condition. It stands for Failure Undertaking Capacity Killing Enemy Droves. I'm not even sure that makes sense, but oh boy, it does exist. Trust me, I'm Jigsaw. I know it when I see players who are indeed fucked. When you buy stuff at your shop, they have a really good selection like bandages, medkits, ammo pouches, ammo and guns if you want to change one out. What's not cool though are the weapon attachments that you can't replace, which means that if you happen to, say, equip a scope that ends up being shitty, you can't take it off. You have to find a new gun. Period. What the fuck is this crap? This is not realistic at all. You should be able to, to swap out. Another thing that sucks monkey butt is being unable to swap out certain weapons for other weapons. It seems like the game does whatever the hell it wants. When you want to swap out a pistol for another bigger weapon, it swaps out your primary instead. It's weird, and Jigsaw does not like weird. Every time I think of one thing I hate about this game, I always come up with another thing I hate about it. Like the fact that every time you accidentally shoot someone, they say stuff to each other. This happens constantly. Even in scenarios where you don't take friendly fire. So what the hell is the point? I am sick and tired of listening to these guys complain about being in the line of sight. It happens all the time. I want them to shut the fuck up. Now! Let's do this! Friendly fire! I am so sorry. What the fuck? I am so sorry. Watch your fire! Loading shit! Sorry! Molly, watch your fire! You know. Thanks. See that? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, <laughs> fuck you, birds. Oh, oh, fuck this shit. How the hell you get past it? Damn, you stink. Shut up! 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! The general gameplay can be pretty fun too, especially with a good team. And it can be fun at times. But then repetition sets in and you find yourself doing the same objectives and going through the same places throughout Acts 2 and 3. They use recycled areas. And that's never an okay thing with Jigsaw. And lastly, the multiplayer. I just don't enjoy it. The whole survivor versus monster thing is a very interesting thing. It's something we've seen in Dead Space 2. And as much as I love playing the monster sides in video games, I love playing as Jason in Friday the 13th. I love playing as Predator in Predator Hunting Grounds. I love well, actually, I don't love, and neither does anyone else like playing Resident Evil Resistance, but I also do not like playing the monsters in Back for Blood, because it just feels very poorly made. To put it simply, it's clunky, it's clumsy, no matter which monster type you play as, it just doesn't feel like it's working. Very tacked on. And I think I speak for everybody when I say that they should have just stuck with the campaign verses instead of this crap. Overall, Back for Blood is a disappointment in most regards. It doesn't really feel like it lives up to the Left 4 Dead series or even compete well enough to suggest over other zombie shooters. So, yeah. So, overall, I was very disappointed with Back for Blood. It could have been a lot better. Better choices, better execution. You expect better from the same people who made the classic zombie games of Left 4 Dead. But, despite me not advising people to go buy the game, I will say this. If you have Xbox Game Pass and you miss the old Left 4 Dead games and want to play something similar, even if it's not better or as good, I do recommend you check it out and see if you like it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. This is just Jigsaw's opinion. If I were to give a final score for Back for Blood, it would probably be a four, maybe? I don't know. Jigsaw does not review games. He plays them. So this might be only a one-time thing. We might be going back to playing games next year. So, I expect you to show up next year for us to play a game together. As always, this is Jigsaw. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Stay away from the virus. But above all else, don't open the door to kids who are dressed up as zombies because they might actually be zombies and they might want other things than just your candy. Be careful who you trust, especially reviewers, but do know that I am being honest. Have a happy Halloween, everyone.